Tom, they've done it. They've finally done it. They've released Kragnos Law. What do you mean, release? They've brought the old stuff back. They brought back, yeah, they've brought back the old stuff. They've updated Kragnos. Mm. For all of those like newcomers who don't remember Kragnos from the early days. You know, he's maybe a bit niche now. You know, he's quite old school. It's quite obscure. You might not have heard of him. You might not have heard. He's a bit underground. Yeah. So they've like they brought it back as law for all the um all the people who didn't know who Kragnos was. But he's like little little black nose, he looks like a s like a dog man. He's got like a dog's nose. He is a bit of a balker, isn't he? That's nice. He's a fun boy. Okay. So he's here. And for those of you who forgot about Kragnos, um, turns out he is from before time began, from all the other races, an ancient centoid man. Okay, centoid beings. Centauroid. He's a centauroid. I feel like there could be a better word than that. Centauroid. <laughs> is that, was that the best they could come up with? <laughs> Centauroids. Is that what they're called? What happens if you just Google centauroid? That can't. <laughs> That can't get too racy. Uh, okay, right. <laughs> I don't want to actually go into it just because <laughs> no, the, there will know, be something in there we don't want to see. Be pretty sexy. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so Kragnos was born to the centroids. To the rulers of Dons. <laughs> yeah, one one of the centroid peoples. Um, but he was kicked out because he beat up his br he beat his brother to a pulp. Over the right to fuck the same man. Oh my god. So uh, he went what? to horny jail. Kragnos goes to horny jail and he takes his bravest followers with him. Um, and then um, because he's not allowed to fuck, he goes on a rampage and fights giants and shit. Um, then he started getting real good at fighting and he made this mace. And you remember they, they gave us a tidbit of the story the other day. Apparently, Morkor, Gork, Gork and Morka chipped their tooth on this, like, mighty shield. That's how strong it is. Wow. That wasn't when Kragnos was fighting them. Kragnos found it in a ditch. Um, it was around this time he also found this shield, Tuskbreaker, from a deep ravine, having been hurled there in fury when Gork and Morka chipped his tooth, testing the bronze shield like a man might test a gold coin. So, forget about that interesting bit, because <laughs> he just, okay. just found it, didn't he? Okay. Um, <laughs> okay. Okay. Then he ate loads of amber stone and became mighty strong. Then he went and beat everyone up, because he's an angry man, um, and became the end of empires. Then he decided to um, beat up all of the barbarians who hunted monsters, so he killed all of them. Then he decided to beat up the dragons. They were once the allies of the centroids, um, but now just a merely a challenge to Kragnos' power. So he breaks the alliance and he tries to murder all the dragons. And then because all the Kragnos people died in this apocalyptic conflict, Kragnos decides he's going to go crush all their eggs in revenge. Oh. Okay. Um, there we go. He vowed to wipe them out from history, trampling every clutch of eggs he could find. I think Kragnos is a bit of a dick. It's petty. And not <laughs> he started a war with the dragons, and then because they killed some of his people, he went to stomp all their eggs. Okay. Fuck you, Kragnos. Wow. So then um, the last dragon went and cried to Lord Croak and went, well, yeah, Kragnos too strong. So Croak and the last dragon uh, locked him in a mountain where he has resided for millennia. Until but, now. But he's back. Now he's back. He broke out. Like, why, why does Croak care? I don't know. I guess because he was just killing everything. And Croak's like... Okay. Stick him in a mountain. So there we go. Not only does the God of Earthquakes have a fascinating backstory, he's got some pretty awesome rules too. Oh yeah, have you seen his war scroll? Yeah, Kragnos strong. So this, so right, yeah, he's, he's got some crit <laughs> attacks. Yeah. This ability, rampaging destruction. If he charges a monster, yeah. Uh, right, you roll two dice. If you don't roll a seven, mm -hmm. you multiply those two dice together, and that's how many mortal wounds you do to it. 
What? So it's between one and thirty-six mortal wounds. That's that's like a really easy mechanic to balance, right? <laughs> So hang on, he does anywhere between zero and thirty-six wounds when he charges. Yeah, that's really easy to. That's balanced, right? His points <laughs> will reflect that swing. <laughs> Fucking spin that wheel. Also, click, click, click. so if two Kraknosses charge into each other, what are the odds that he's going to do at least sixteen wounds to kill them? I saw. I already saw like um, a chart of someone doing like the percentage odds of like getting stuff. Mm -hmm. um, generally, rolls pretty good. Generally, is like pretty. It's an pretty average hot. roll. I mean, seven. I mean, I guess. What is the chances of rolling exactly seven? Is it like twenty percent or twenty-five percent or something? Seven is quite it's, common. It's like twenty. Twenty percent. No, it's more than that. I don't know. I don't know because it's like fifty-eight percent chance of getting a seven or more. Um, one in six. Really? No, it can't be one in six. I know seven is average. I understand that. Is it actually one and six? Because you got one. That's what my heart was telling me. One and six. But my brain was telling me, no, Tom, you're dumb. Six and Shut one. Now, while you're ahead. Three and four, four and three. Five and two, two and five. Yeah, six out of 36. It's one and six. You're right, yeah. Okay, so there's a 16% chance he does fucking nothing. Mm -hmm. But then there's also every other possible has like a, oh my God. It's crazy. That's an insane rule. Plus, he just you know kicks and stomps and axes oh, everything as well. Oh, he's already super fucking powerful. But uh, yeah, um, that. Wow, that's bonkers. He also gets um, reroll charges and reroll to hits against dragons. Yeah, sure. But uh, going in and that like. I don't know. It's just, it's just a lot of damage. It's an, a mind-blowing amount of damage. And most monsters, not, not very few things have more than like 15 wounds, right? I think like the, well, the, the biggest, the Sons of Behemoth Mega Gargans, I think they have 36. Okay. And but he, so, so he can one-shot one. I mean, but he gets these six attacks to do four wounds each as well. Oh yeah. So if he doesn't yeah. quite, if he only takes half your wounds off with his, oh, just his is. regular attacks are very strong. <laughs> yeah. yeah, like he should. Uh, if he charges into it, he should one shot Pretty any monster it. in the game. game. Yeah. Um, oh, well, that's fun, isn't it? It's a fun mechanic. It's you a know? fun mechanic. My, my big, uh, big toy model that I brought. Uh, I've got a toy that just one shots them. Hmm. Wouldn't want anyone to use their big fun toys. No, no, no. Get them off the table as soon as possible. He's also like immune to magic. If you can roll 3d6 to roll higher than the casting value of the spell, the spell gets fucked. And they're casting on 2d6. Yeah. Well, it's the actual like default oh, just, casting oh, value. Fuck. It's like okay, a wow. 5 or something, or like a 7, Oof. depending on the spell. Ooh. Ooh. But it's okay, because this is all, um, it's all in his lore, Tom. Do you remember that time he killed his brother so he could fuck? But he rolled a double 6. <laughs> Problem. Like, he was like, cheat! <laughs> like, I thought I was going to roll a seven. Like, I'm sorry, brother, <laughs> but I rolled double six. <laughs> yeah. Oh. What a boy. Kragnos! Kragnos! So good. I kind of like this art. I like this drawing. Yeah, I like this cool. sort of, like, cave drawing history of Kragnos. Yeah, that's cute. This is really fun. I love old, old legend speak of the centeroid. He comes. Uh, I don't like centauroids, so <laughs> that's weird. <laughs> but now that's part of our vernacular, then. <laughs> that's a word we now know. That's now, uh, well, also something that's going to be coming up on the stream a lot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Shit, man. With Kragnos is so good that, like, they just released a whole bunch of monsters, and now they've made this new thing that eats monsters for breakfast. Crazy. I man. think they might sell a lot of this. Could be good. <laughs> they might they might be able to sell a lot of Kragnosses. Could be really effective. <laughs> wow, what a move. Uh fucking move. That was lucky. God, imagine if he was bad. Imagine oh, if he had I'd, bad or, rules. Yeah, if they just gave him terrible <laughs> terrible rules. What is that? Is that I guess that is a is that a picture of himself on his shield? No, that's um that's the mayor he wanted. No, well, either would be weird, 
because he just found a shield to like, oh shit, it's a oh, shield well, with a picture of my girlfriend. It's well, it's, he's, uh, there's a mace there that looks a bit like his mace. So he found a shield with a picture of him on it. Yeah, or he found the shield, this like god-proof shield, and found a way to carve himself into it. Well, he is Kragnos, <laughs> yeah. so he could he could come up with that. <laughs> That's true. Uh, great. Mm. Kragnos, I love him. Yeah. He's, He's my favorite and least favorite. Best. I, this is my favorite line. Fascinating. Fascinating. Back. <laughs> well, I'm going to get, I'll give them this. Mm. I can't remember any other Warhammer lore mm. that involves centaurs fucking. <laughs> and that is not even a joke. And does that fascinate you, well, Tom? <laughs> I feel, you know, in the context of this stream. <laughs> It's fascinating. It's pretty good. I mean, this could have been a law hammer. Couldn't it, it really could hammer. have. Holy <laughs> shit. It would be so good. Like, if you'd have yeah. come to me and told me that story. Kragnos like, <laughs> wouldn't have become a god of destruction unless he really wanted to unless fuck. Unless he killed his brother because they wanted to fuck. <laughs> they both wanted to fuck the same centaur. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. <laughs> wouldn't, have, wouldn't have believed it. Oh. Uh. Well, there we go. Thanks, G Dubs. You've, you've given us the fuel we need. Like, that guy doesn't look like he should be able to trample that guy to death in a single, like, stomp. <laughs> no, he doesn't, does he? He's like, look at his little legs. That'd be like a, like a lamb mm. charging into you, and you just explode. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what the heck? Oh. Uh. Stomped on the peen. Oh, okay, fine. Yeah, maybe that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, maybe, maybe that's his move. He just swings his big mace straight into the groin. No, because it's time. his hooves, Ben. It's his thunderous hooves. Oh! So he, like, turns around and, like, <laughs> you know, fucking, like, donkey kicks straight into the nuts. <laughs> donkey kicks. Amazing. Um, well, he runs past them and then back kicks them. Yeah, yeah. Right in the balls. Straight in the balls. One hoof for each giant ball. <laughs> and, yeah, you know what? Maybe the guy doesn't die, but he's, like... He's out of the battle. He's not. He's not taking part. He's <laughs> yeah. going home. <laughs> oh, wow! Well. Oh my God. Okay. okay. Well, watch out. Does that also? If he gets you in the butt, does he give you centeroids? They're like hemorrhoids, but it's what you, it's the injury you yeah. receive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> from from donkey kick. From the donkey kick <laughs> on each butt cheek, and then just you know, <laughs> your centeroids come out. <laughs> Perfect. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for that, guys. Thanks.